Hello there, Aries. And I feel like a lot of it is just, um, you know, you're, you are basking in some very major energetic changes happening for you during that holiday season. We had Christmas in the uh, in the States here, as well as the New Year celebration, and you were made for parties. You were made for event planning. And I feel like there was a lot of success associated with it. So then you came into the year uh, feeling very enthusiastic, very hopeful about, you know, the, the year overall and what it has in store for you. And so because of that, it's like hitting the ground running and amped up and ready to go and trying to figure out as well, you know, anxious to see what the new year has in store for you. Many of you have started a new job, a new investment opportunity, and uh, you might have already started it back in November or the December time frame. And then for others of you, it's almost like um, being the life of the party, making a lot of connections, having being in really high demand during the holiday season as well. So you have like multiple places to go mobilated and you're trying to find your footing, you're trying to find your bearing. And it's not going to be, I feel like until your birthday time where things are going to start to make sense in where you're going to feel like you're at the right place, at the right time, at the right speed for which events can happen for you, okay? So it's still a readjustment period, I'm sensing. So it's like you're launched from a slingshot and you're still gaining momentum and it's like there's friction in the air, it's trying to slow you down, okay? So let me go into this reading. These are your prediction cards and this is going to serve as your spiritual advice and we're gonna go over these three cards in just a little bit. Uh, first of all, I have a little bit of a blast from the past coming into the picture, okay? So I can assure you, whatever relationship that has ended back in 2017, please don't let it go back into your life. Don't let it re-enter. Don't entertain it. Don't uh, Facebook stalk. Don't uh, Instagram stalk. Don't let your energy be affected by people from the past, okay? Especially exes. If they chose to leave, let them leave. There isn't anything there for you anymore. You're meant to be in a better space and you're meant to pursue new, 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 new relationships, okay? Let the past stay in the past, okay? So I'm just going to get that out there. First of all, we have here Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Both of these are wonderful cards that indicates to me that, you know, your life is on track. Your financial um, foundation is very, very stable. And you guys, no matter where you are, like, um, I, I want to say romantically, your money is always going to be high priority. And that means your money is always consistent. Your money is always stable. You know how to take care of yourself financially. You know how to skimp in order to, you know, secure financial resources. You know how to be resourceful as well. And you will never stay in a job where you are underappreciated the way that a lot of Piscean and Virgo and people do. And so I feel that I don't have to worry about you guys when it comes to your financial sector because everything is on point. And this is a card about making our investment work for us. Some of you are dabbling in self-employment where you're making quite a bit of money. You have new ideas, creative uh, ventures as well. Some of you are dabbling in uh, selling, renting of houses, okay? So this can be like, um, you have a property and you have an extra room and you put it out for rent or you can Airbnb it. And some of you are thinking about this. And I feel like if you're thinking about it, do it. It's going to bring you a lot of financial abundance. Others of you might have real estate, loan, mortgage, real estate, home selling, flipping houses or other side gigs that you're doing on the side in addition to your main job. And so you're accumulating a lot of wealth and you're coming into this year very hopeful to be able to grow your business and to expand your business. The Nine of Pentacles is greatly about investment, okay? It's about being smart with our money and making our money work for us. If you have extra money sitting idle in your bank account, it's a really good time to talk to a financial advisor and try to figure out what avenues you can start investing your money or looking at other side gigs that you can do and make the money work for you. So I feel like there is a, a big sense of curiosity for many of you about 
learning something new, a new craft, a new skill, a new um, learning something. In the past, you might not have been patient enough to do it, or you didn't feel the need or the, the necessity. But now you're trying to, you know, it, it's like there's a big paradigm. And I feel as if you are right now, um, it could be a business partnership that went sour where you're the one that's kind of left having to take care of everything because the other person is no longer in the picture. You can no longer depend on them. And so you're kind of like manning the fort, okay? And then for others of you, a recent breakup and now you're like diving into work 100% so that you can, you know, kind of like um, forget about what exactly happen like forget about what happened in the work environment for others of you there might have been elite people that you're really close to in the present work environment leaving so that means more positions are going to be opening up and so you can definitely send out you know resumes start applying for all of these uh, vacant opening because I feel like they're going to be filling in fast okay so you have some really good ideas and good plans that you're trying to implement or some strategies that you're undertaking so that you can slip into a promotional role or you can slip into a higher paying position so I feel like there are some changes here in the work front and then others just burying yourself at work trying to forget you know a recent heartache or a recent separation from another person um, I'm also feeling as well, if you are working in close proximity with another person and you might not, you know, see eye to eye, um, focus on your work, keep your nose to the grindstone, be, um, you know, mind your own, like, you're not, I want to say just never mind what they're doing, worry about what you're doing, um, keep your head low, lay low and focus on your work and the other person should not you know register on your radar when you're busy doing your work okay uh, there is a little bit of uh, jealousy and I want to say instigating energy in your work environment like somebody who is a little bit catty a little bit gossipy but I feel like it's um, it's an ongoing thing so it's not targeting you specifically I just feel like it's a background noise that you wish wasn't there okay what's coming through as well we have the eight of wands and the seven of cups this is online dating. So the Eight of Wands is like communication from a distance, talking to somebody in rapid succession, such as via text messages, uh, messenger. Um, um, I, I wanna say that as well, text messages, phone calls, okay? So you're getting rapid, rapid communication from other people. And I feel like this is related here to online inventory or online dating. The Seven of Cups is usually virtual reality. You have all these choices laid out in front of you and you're trying to get to know all of these options. So I feel like I've got a really big singles vibe for people. Uh, you guys are trying to take your love life to the next level. You're trying to meet the right person. You're at a point where career and work is going really well and you feel like you need to have a love relationship in your life in order to feel, you know, fulfilled, in order to feel like um, every area is complete. When certain things are incomplete for you guys in certain aspects, uh, it can feel really off kilter or unbalanced. So I feel like you're looking for more harmony. You're looking for more balance. You're looking for that yin to your yang. And you're looking for somebody that can make you feel whole and complete you. So I feel like a lot of people are venturing into the dating world and um, making quite a good impression because you've got all of these um, suitors kind of like knocking at your door, okay? It's like you see these choices which is seven choices, but you have more options that are actually f coming in. So I feel like you're still definitely selective about who you let into your uh, inner sanctum, which is good, okay? Be discriminate and, you know, with online dating nowadays, things are not always what it, they seem, so you want to be a little bit careful, okay? I'm also feeling as well, some of you are looking for property online, looking for properties online and you're really exploring like outlandish um, locations, okay? So let's just say you hate the cold. Let's just say you hate the cold. But you're looking at, you know, the Swiss Alps. You're looking at like places that are 
um, a little bit more isolated with a lot of, um, you know, with seasons and you might get snowed in in the winter time, but you're looking at places and you're keeping all of your options open. You have a very idealistic and also a romanticized vision of what you want your life to look like, the new house to be like, or even wanting to have that retirement or a vacation home. So you're looking at really out of the way places, okay? Um, Mercury retrograde is over, you know, since the 23rd of December. So the time to look right now is fine. And, you know, as long as it's not like from that time period, I feel like you're in the right, um, in the right mindset, okay? What's coming through as well? We have here the Devil and the Six of Swords. And um, this is a really good card overall. Well, a really good cluster of card because it basically means no longer keeping ourselves tied up and chained up with a relationship partner or with toxic energies, okay? Over it can feel really thrilling and so you might, you know, succumb to that thrill and put your needs second. And so this is a major reminder here that, you know, we all have our our reasons for breaking away from unhealthy habits. And people can tell you try this, try that. But until you can arrive at that truth for yourself, you're not going to be able to implement other people's advice and be able to break away from an addiction, okay? So, I mentioned for Aquarius last month, they're doing massive um, self-improvement. And I feel this is coming in for you, but you've been doing improvement all along. This is just breaking away from, it's like freeing yourself, finally, finally, finally freeing yourself. It's not just, you know, setting mm, a, like a New Year's resolution. This is like deep-rooted freeing ourselves. And the reason I say freeing is the Six of Swords here. This is sailing away from a troublesome, toxic situation. And you don't know where you're going, you know, because like sh her, she's um, she's got her back to her future. So she's not looking out there and figuring out, okay, I'm going to this better place. She just knows that whatever I'm going to, wherever this person is taking me or wherever I end up, it's still better than this. So I'm refusing to let this control me and I'm moving forward. So I do feel many of you are standing in your own sense of empowerment and you're getting a lot of support and help as well by, um, you know, in the process of drifting, shifting away or drifting away from that you're getting a lot of help from other people and you're getting a lot of positive accolades from other people. Like you're getting the, the congratulations that you're finally able to do this. In terms of your advice, you have a really good month ahead of you. Okay, so stay on track. All right, let exes go. Okay, I can't stress that enough. It's a new year. So whatever's not working in the past, you just need to, you know, find peace in it mourn it and let it go you have uh, so many positive things coming in right now and work is really you know where your head is at but i feel like there's this natural pool here so let me talk about your spiritual advice we have here an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn okay and we have as well the lovers so this is a third party interference type of a situation this is a situation where there is great chemistry between you and another person, right? And if this is a person from the past, I feel almost like there's something going on in their lives and they're trying to reach out to you and they're trying to make amends, they're trying to understand the situation. And I feel like they might also be wanting to get back together with you, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They're coming in with a very solid offer Okay, but I feel like you're very, very conflicted. Okay, for those of you who are in a relationship with this new person, we have as well the justice card, which basically means, you know, um, it's, it's almost like exercising, exercising your judgment. Okay, be discerning, think with your head. And despite the passion and the chemistry in this interaction, it's really important for you to think about where have we been? Why are we constantly wrapped up in this cycle? I feel many of you, you have a new person. You've already moved on from the past. You have a new person and they're saying this person is different. 
this person is going to reciprocate. There is balance and harmony in this relationship or even in this business partnership if it's an earth sign that you're partnering up with. So there's reciprocity, there's a sense of generosity, and there's a sense of stability associated with this. So don't be, you know, don't let the fears and the trust issues and the, um, that, that past situation that left a bitter taste in your mouth, don't let that affect you coming in for this new year. You're dealing with new people and you're dealing with new energies. And the energy seems to me like it's reciprocated, okay?